What do you think of the shirt? It's got Mr. DNA from Jurassic Park. Pretty neat, right? For a fashion victim. Hello and welcome to this episode of Have You Seen? Today is another film I saw far too young. Released in October 1987, the only real vampire movie you need to watch. There aren't any sparkling vampires in this film and they can't go out at daytime. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about The Lost Boys and being only three when it actually came out, I was a little bit too young to see it in the cinema. So I actually didn't see the film till I was around 12. Still under the BBFC's age of rating of 15, but you know us, we watch films when we were a little bit too young, and unless they have werewolves in them, then we just don't watch them. Starring Jason Patrick, Kiefer Sutherland, the late Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, as well as Diane Weist and Edward Herman, and as well, Alex Winter. That's Bill from Bill and Ted, if you don't know who that is. Good night, blood sucker. No! <laughs> Directed by Joel Schumacher, the man behind Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. I had just recently watched Batman Forever, so I went looking for other films by Joel Schumacher and came across The Lost Boys. The story of The Lost Boys is a simple one, as told by IMDb, as always. Uh, when a recently divorced mother and her two teenage boys move to a coastal town to stay with her father, it doesn't take long for the brothers to realise the area is a haven for something much more sinister than the party-going surfers. Sounds interesting. Come on, she sniffed you. <laughs> the first time I watched The Lost Boys, I was hooked straight away. Uh, you don't actually know what's going on. And then suddenly people are getting ripped from a car and security guards getting chased from above. It's a great opening and the soundtrack that goes with it is, is brilliant. The film is set in the fictional town of Santa Carla, which is actually Santa Cruz. And you can still go to the fun fair or boardwalk uh, now, I believe. It's still there. Uh, write in the comment section down below if you've been to Santa Cruz and along the, uh, the beach boardwalk. And did you know they actually filmed bits of the movie Us there as well? And in the movie Us, they're filming The Lost Boys because Us is set in the same year that they're filming it. Interesting. Near the beginning of the film, uh, when they drove past the billboard, there's a sign written on the back that says murder capital of the world. Santa Cruz in the early 70s did have a series of very brutal murders by three different serial killers and a total of 28 murders took place over three years. That is a lot. That is as nearly as bad as London now. But London's not that bad. The Lost Boys was actually the first film Corey Haim and Feldman actually worked together. It was the start of their popular 80s trend where the two of them would work together. They became known as the two Coreys. There's many films with them together. They're, my favourite is Lost Boys and then Licence to Drive. Check them out. The title is a reference to the Lost Boys in J.M. Barnes stories about Peter Pan and Neverland who, like vampires, never grow up. How are those maggots? <laughs> maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, how do they taste? The Lost Boys was originally meant to be a family-friendly type of movie, but Joel Schumacher wanted it to be more edgy and have a darker, campier tone. Richard Donner was actually set to direct the more family-friendly version, but he actually left the film to do Lethal Weapon. And between you and me, it's a, it's a good thing. Not that he's a bad director or anything. I mean, he made Goonies. That's classic. But do you want to see Goonies does vampires? And would Lethal Weapon be as good as it is without him? As you've gotten this far, why not click the like and subscribe button so you don't miss our next video? It really does help the channel. The movie invented the phrase vamp out, which has been passed into common usage on the TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Josh Whedon, who created Buffy, also took some of the looks for his characters. The character Spike is based around Kiefer Sullivan's character David and Billy Idol. Corey Feldman was told to make his character more butch. Uh, he actually was told to go home and watch Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Norris movies and then mix the two together. What we got was comic genius from Feldman uh, playing a tiny Rambo out to kill vampires. Some yell and scream, some go quietly, some explode, some implode. But all will try to take you with them. Michael is actually said over a hundred times in the film. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a joke, um, but afterwards you'll probably be saying Michael a lot. The creature of the night, Michael. Good night, Michael. You're a vampire, Michael. They're only noodles, Michael. Hey, Michael! Ben Stiller actually auditioned for a part as one of the Lost Boys, but sadly missed out. It took about 20 years for there to be a sequel to the Lost Boys. And do yourself a favour, don't watch them. They're that bad. My favourite scene in Lost Boys is when they're getting ready for what's about to happen that night. You have the two Corys and the Frog Brother, I forget his name, 
they're going around town picking up supplies and everything. It's like a little montage. Write in the comment section down below what your favourite scene in Lost Boys is. The hardcore punk band Death by Stereo took their name from one of the kills. Uh, if you've not heard Death by Stereo uh, and enjoy the heavier type of music, give them a listen. Last year we got to see the Lost Boys on the big screen for the very first time. It coincides with the 35th anniversary and also the putting out of this box set. There's other ones that you can get and I believe there's a new steelbook coming out soon. Uh, the upgrade for the 4K is really good and we put the Lost Boys on at least once a year. If you've not seen the Lost Boys, I'll leave a link down below for you to pick up the 4K if you're interested. That does help support the channel just a, just a little bit. If you enjoyed this little talk about the Lost Boys, why not watch uh, this video next where I talk about Robocop and how I saw that far too young. I mean, far too young. And until next time, see you later.